Let me go back to Tammy. Tammy, when you look at uh, Professor Ford, and I don't have a problem with her being heard, and the people that she mentioned, they all contradict her story. They right. don't and, have, and, and then if you look at the New Yorker piece, which should never have been printed, even the New York Times said that Ms. Ramirez in that particular case was calling people from Yale, New York Times saying, and they talked to dozens of people and saying, do you remember it? I'm not sure. And then you've got this allegation. So we're going to believe that somebody went to one party, gang rape, drugging women, yeah. inebriated, boys lined up to rape a girl one at a time, and that it never came out by anybody ever in 36 yeah. years? Yeah, we're look, supposed to believe that tonight. Uh, I, I, first of all, no one is. And again, this is what our problem is now, because there are women who have not been uh, heard, who, who have not had justice, uh, who have not been believed. And this is our struggle as women, uh, uh, many of whom, if not a majority, have experienced sexual harassment, sexual assault. And we make different choices about how to handle those things. But we've been working for generations to be taken seriously. Senator Feinstein and the Democrats, supposedly the champions for women, with this process have denigrated all of us. Now, look, I think that uh, of all of the accusations, perhaps professors, Professor Ford's was the most plausible. But when her own witnesses said it did not happen or contradicted her, it became a problem. And th this is the thing that all three accusations have in common. No witnesses, uh, no specifics, no corroboration, or in let fact, me, even a contradiction. And, 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 and the inability Joe. to corroborate, the inability to do so. All